Why did I step on? I stepped on this! That's worse than Legos! I tried to be scary and failed. Hey guys, today we're gonna be reading another scary story, but first we're gonna finish off the last one that we did, because I only did half of it. That means there's still 50% more. So if you guys didn't watch part one, I'll leave it in the description below. It's called The Mystery Dog. Oh, there it is, right there. If you guys don't know what this is, this is the Yarn app. There's a bunch of awesome tech stories. I've done a ton of them off here. I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to download yarn. Like I've done bruises, and we did Mystery Dog last time, so we're gonna finish it this time. If you didn't watch the other video, Pause this right now, go watch the other video first, and then come back now, because you're gonna get hella spoiled. This is a series, and it's very important. You watch it from the beginning. Thank you. I did my own hair today. I like it. Last time on Mystery Dog. Julia had a dog. The dog had a zipper. She opened the zipper. A girl came out of a dog. Okay, part three. Uh-oh, somebody knocks on Julia's door, and mom says it's not us. Don't open the door. Call 911, but I think it's already too late. Mom, there's a man outside. His face is wrinkly. That's what you call an old person. Who says there's a dude outside, but his face is wrinkly? There's an old man outside. He's wearing dark ripped clothes. Okay, so maybe he's like an edgy teenager, but he has like premature wrinkling. I think that's what we're going for. It looks like there are worms in his teeth. Yeah, how can you see his teeth? Is he just standing outside your door like? Look at through the hole in your door like. And bugs in his hair. Ugh, is he dead? Don't open the door! He's holding something up, I can't read it. Please? Maybe he needs help. Stop! OMG, he just put it closer. It's a piece of paper. How did I know? It says, I know you have my daughter. Boy, take her! Take this bitch! Take this bitch right now! Please! Please! You be doing all of us a favor. Here you go, sir. Let me do it like a drug dealer, like put it in a plastic bag and throw it out the window. <laughs> like, bruh, she got a GPS navigation inside her. How you know? I'm so confused. Loud banging upstairs. Don't tell me she left her upstairs. I heard something upstairs. I'm running back up. Bruh. Just give him the damn dog, kid, girl, I don't know what. I think I lost him, mom. I'm back in my room. She's just sitting there brushing my doll's hair. She keeps saying I'm next. Boy, this is when you get the f out of your house, run out. I don't know, you got a car in the garage. You like floor it in reverse and nothing can hurt you. I'll put the damn kid in a plastic bag, throw her outside. Bye. My problem's done. I ain't got no problems now. OMG, mom. What now? What, are you okay? Get out of there. He's in my room. <laughs> Bro. The police are on their way. Lock the door. Yo, mom, why is it taking you so long to get home? He's holding another dog's empty corpse. It smells bad, mom. So, this dude is just right in front of you. And instead of screaming, running, going to the police, um, he's holding a dead dog. It smells bad, mom. Like, just look at him, dead in the eye, like, <laughs> texting your mom. Boy, Julia, run. He's saying something. He said, didn't your parents ever teach you how to welcome your guests? I can't believe she's still in the house. Mom, he's walking towards me with the dog's corpse. He keeps saying, you're next. <laughs> I feel like she kinda deserves it now because she's not leaving, so part of me thinks she wants it. Ah! I'm gonna just assume this is a call, okay? Not, not a, this ain't text anymore. This is a call. Mom! Help! Yeah, this, this is a call. Are you okay? What is happening? I hid my phone in my sock. He took us to his van out front. We are driving now. I called the police. Describe the vehicle. And where you are. I don't know why I yelled that. But I mean, it's, it's, like, it's like that Scooby-Doo van. It smells dank in here. <laughs> 
and it ain't the weed. Can I call you? I'm scared. Okay, so now we back to texting. Cause she's in a van, but she still has her phone. Cause like, you know, dead people don't know what phones are. I think there are other kids in here. Don't call me. You can't have him catch you with your phone. Mom, please. Where are you? We just passed the house. Retracing your steps. Did he take any turns? I don't think so. He blindfolded everyone. I lifted mine barely to see the phone. Oh, why doesn't everyone else do that? <laughs> okay, stay calm. OMG, he took a right, then a left. We are on a really bumpy road with no street lights. Okay, try to remember, left, then right. We are slowing down. Oh no, let's see what happens next. Did you come to a stop? Yes, but nothing is happening. OMG! There are things moving next to me. Something is touching my leg. Is the man still there? I don't think so. Okay, take off your blindfold. OMG, it's another little girl. Her hand tore through the paw of the dog's carcass. Why? Why? She's grabbing for me. Jesus, we are coming. You'll grab her back. Smack her. She needs my help. No, she's trying to put you in a dog. Ain't nobody needs your help. Tell me why Julia is so dumb. Like, nobody in this van is handcuffed, tied to anything. They're just blindfolded, sitting there with a seatbelt on. Like, you can't get up, do anything, smack the dude that's driving, knock him out. I don't know, man. There's like so many things you could do if you're not handcuffed. I'm going to get her out of this carcass. Stay put. I need to do something. She can hardly breathe. Yo, she wants to die, let her die. She's like in it. Or did he put her in it? I don't know, man, but it ain't my problem. I'm helping her. Julia, be careful. She said run. She said don't go in there. He will hurt you. Yeah. No shit, what you should have done in the first place. When you see a baby come out of a dog, throw that shit outside. Seriously, why would you keep it in your house? <laughs> like even just go outside of your house, like put it out on your sidewalk, like trash collection day is here. Take, take this shit from me. I don't want it, it's not mine. And whoever it does belong to, they won't go in the house. They'll just see it in front of your house and be like, oh, it's right there, let me go pick it up. That's what she should have done. Okay, he'll hurt you. Try the van door now. It's locked. He's coming back. <sighs> He's hiding my phone. Okay, last episode, come on. Julia, are you there? Hey. He brought us inside of this tiny cabin looking house. He left us in the main room. Yo, do they not call like cops looking for these people or no? What? Nothing? Uh. Well, you gotta see if she's missing for like 24 hours and maybe I'll get off my ass and do something. Can you lift your blindfold and describe where you are? We are looking everywhere. Yes. OMG, there are so many dogs. They are huddled in the corner. Where is the man? He's in the back somewhere. It's really loud. Okay, stay put, we are close. OMG, he's coming. Hiding phone. OMG, he took the dog back to that room. I'm gonna see what he's doing. Julia, don't! Yo, this is like Outlast. When you watching that butcher cut up people. It's like, don't, don't, get out! Why you wanna see it? People need to see this, okay. She's just trying to be Instagram famous right now. He should be in prison. Julia, be careful. We are close. OMG. He's cutting the dogs open and putting a hose in their mouth. Their insides are everywhere. That should make a good video. That shit will go viral. OMG, I can't do this. Where are you? Ugh. Ugh. Find out on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. Okay, I want to start another one. 
We're gonna start another one. Hidden family. How well do you know your family? You don't. Oh, by the way, Julia dies. I don't know what really happens, but that's probably what happens. Or she gets put in the dog. I mean, that's what happens if it's game over. I, I, I don't think she's gonna escape. She, she's kind of set on staying there and helping them and recording it, then running away, so. I mean, if her parents come, they're gonna be put in the dogs too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, starting the new one. Hidden family. Why is your number in my dad's phone? Aaron's like, huh? Huh? Who is this? Your number is in my dad's cell. Why are you going through your dad's contacts? Like, who's Aaron? It's your dad. Damn, Shilly, you ain't got that authority. What if he goes through your phone like, who's this Bob? Uh, dad, you can't do that. It's none of your business. I don't know. Who's your dad? And who are you? How did you get my number? My dad is Peter Conaway. I found your number in my dad's cell under Butte number two. <laughs> That's such a stupid name. That's even worse than putting an emoji. And I want to know who you are. Well, my dad calls me Butte, but I have no clue who Peter Conaway is. Wait, I'm confused. Your dad calls you Butte? Who's your dad? I'm sorry, who are you? My dad is Robert Maculoilitis. Is that a disease? I'm Savannah. This is so weird. I know, a stranger is stalking me. No, it's weird because my dad calls me Butte and that's not a common nickname. Why does he call you that? It started as beauty, but then he dropped the Y. Same. That's so weird, yeah I know. I'm really confused. Why would your dad have my number? I've never been a number two. <laughs> I'm number one. Wait, is this a prank? What the hell, lady? No! And don't call me lady, I'm only 17. What's your name? Aaron. How old are you? 18. Where do you live? Long Beach. This is getting personal. You? Encino? Maybe a cell tower is crossed? Maybe. This is so strange. Or maybe our dads are friends or something. Huh? Old high school friends? Maybe. Holy shit! I just found something really weird on my dad's phone. Maybe you should stop snooping. Yeah, why, why is she on her dad's phone? Why doesn't he have a passcode? I'm bored. I'm gonna dig through my dad's phone. Do you have blonde hair? Yes. And green eyes? Yes. How did you know that? OMG, OMG, OMG. Look. Oh no, is that you? Whoa, what's going on? Are you stalking me on Instagram? Yes, that's me. What's your dad look like? Okay, we got this, this dude right here. Holy shit, that's your dad? What? Yes. He's hot. No, I'm just kidding. Because that's my dad. This doesn't make any sense. Why would we have the same dad? Our dads have different names. I know. I don't get it. But you and I have the same nickname. I'm so creeped out. Where is your dad from? <laughs> New Hampshire. Same. Bruh, I am shook. Do you think that we could be one of those? Please don't say it. Secret families? Ooh! You've seen too many old Oprah episodes. What other explanation do you have? I don't know, but I'm sure there is one. My dad would never have a secret family. Maybe your loser dad would, but mine wouldn't. <laughs> That's such a dumb thing to say. Our dad is the same person! Find out what happens next time on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z! But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to check out the rest of this story, make sure you download the Yard app. I will leave a link in the description below. And if you want me to finish the story, make sure you leave a like. And subscribe to the Wolf Pack. Oh! I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys!